Hi, this is Rev Ed with today's Back Porch Devotional from Psalm 121, verses 3 and 4. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. As the pilgrims made their way to Jerusalem, they had to traverse all sorts of rocky ground. And if you've ever been hiking on uneven terrain, you know how easy it is for your foot to slip out from under you. And yet, the Lord has promised to give us a firm place to stand. He will not let your foot be moved. And as those who trust in the Lord, we have to recognize that we stand in the finished work of Jesus Christ, that there is nothing that can separate us from his love and that we are enveloped in his perfect will and in his good providence forever. Paul writes in the fifth chapter of Romans, he says, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. We stand in the grace of God, not in the strength of our own efforts, not in our own abilities, not in our own goodness, for we know these things even on our best days. They're nothing more, as Isaiah reminds us, nothing more than filthy rags. On our very best day, our best impulse, our best action is still tainted by sin. But we're not standing on our own actions. We're standing on what Christ has done for us. It is this grace in which we stand and our foot will never be moved. The ground will never be snatched out from under us. The Lord is always with us. And that is what that next verse is promising. The Lord is our keeper. He does not slumber or sleep. We can sleep in peace because the Lord is watching over us. As we will see six times in this Psalm, we are told that the Lord is our keeper. That doesn't mean we don't have good sense and need somebody to tell us which way to go or that we need to be locked up for our own safety. Keeper here means watchman or guardian, protector. The Lord himself is your guardian, your keeper, your protector. And he doesn't sleep, which means we can. There is nothing out there that the Lord has not already accounted for in your life and in mine. His providence is over all things. Therefore, we shall not fear. The Lord is our keeper. He has got everything under control, even when to our senses and to our sight, it looks like he doesn't. We stand in his grace, and because he is everlasting love, we know that grace will never be taken away from us. He is our keeper, and because the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we know he will never withdraw his protection and his providence and his care from us. He is our keeper. He is our rock on which we stand. And we can have great confidence this day, no matter what we are going through, knowing that we are standing on the grace of God and that we are kept by him in perfect peace, no matter what is going on in our lives. He keeps us today and he keeps us throughout all eternity because he has claimed us by name before the foundation of the world, that we should belong to him, grow up into the image of Christ, and be his forever. These are powerful promises that we need to meditate on every single day and give thanks for every single day. And then not live in fear, but step forth boldly in faith, knowing that we are standing in grace and that the Lord is our keeper, our guardian, and our protector. God's blessings be upon you this day.